Our next segment, produced by Ty J. Baker, takes a look at Evansville's Wish Upon a Star, the grants wishes of children afflicted with high-risk and life-threatening illnesses. Hi, I'm Gage Lynn with EVSC Community Link. Today joining me is Janet Wire from Wish Upon a Star. Could you please explain what Wish Upon a Star is? Sure. Wish Upon a Star is a local nonprofit organization, and our organization is dedicated to granting wishes with local children who have been diagnosed with a life-threatening or a terminal illness. Right. How did it start here in Evansville? Well, our organization started in the year of 1985 when two local residents, Carl Wallace and Carolyn Fafman, uh, they learned of a little girl who lived in Fort Branch who was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. And the little girl had a wish. She wanted to go to Walt Disney World to meet Mickey Mouse. Um, her family, unfortunately, did not have the funds to make a trip like that possible. And so Carl and Carolyn got together, and they contacted many residents in the community, some business partners, and they were able to raise the funds to send the little girl, Jamie, to Walt Disney World to meet Mickey Mouse. Once they returned from Jamie's trip, they had an abundance of funds left over. And so they used those funds to start the organization because they felt that if Jamie was local and she needed a wish, there had to be other local children who could benefit from a wish too. And so that's how we got started. Since 1985, how many wishes have you granted? We've currently granted 241 wishes to children from throughout the tri-state area. How do you receive the recipient? Quite often it's a family member, a friend, or a neighbor who will refer a child uh, to us. Uh, sometimes it's through a church community. Occasionally a doctor's office will call us uh, with a child that they have referred. So it can come from um, just about anywhere. We have a lot of our former WISH families that we've granted WISHes to who through their networking and uh, through doctor's offices and medical treatments facilities and things like that, um, they learn about other children who are facing serious illness. So a lot of times a former WISH family will come to us and say, you know, hey, we know of a child and we think they might be a candidate for a WISH. Donovan was born with a rare syndrome called Vater syndrome, V-A-T-E-R. It is a syndrome that um, is a series of birth defects and it has um, several congenital anomalies. Um, the major problem he had when he was born, his stomach was attached to his trachea. He had reconstructive surgery on his esophagus um, to repair it so he would be able to eat. Um, after about um, five years, when he was about five years old, um, they found out that his esophagus was not working and um, he got a feeding tube and um, he um, was ordered NPO, which means nothing to eat or drink by mouth. Day to day, he has um, lung issues, aspirations, chronic pneumonias. It meant more than I could possibly say even in this segment to our family. Um, to look back at those pictures and see the memories that were made and know that the wish trip did that for us. Those are things that we will never get back. It's a once in a lifetime thing. I want to tell everybody about it, that it's a great organization. It was amazing. Um, I like Universal because I got to meet all the, the superheroes. Like I met Wolverine, I think. I met Cyclops. Spider-Man. Is there any special qualifications that need to be met? Yes, um, all of our children that are qualified and granted to receive wishes through our organization, um, first of all, they must be between the ages of three and 18. Um, their family must live in the tri-state area, which would include southeastern Illinois, western Kentucky, and southern Indiana. Um, then they have to be medically approved. So we have an approval process where we verify all medical information and they have to be diagnosed, like I said, with a serious, either a life-threatening or a possibly terminal illness in order to be granted. So everything is verified through a medical professional in order for them to be qualified to receive a WISH. Where does Wish Upon a Star receive assistance when granting WISHes? 
Well, most of our assistance comes directly from the community here. Um, Wish Upon a Star is a totally local nonprofit. We don't have any affiliations with any of the national wish granting organizations. Uh, we don't receive any funding from the government, whether it be grants or any other type of government funding. So we rely solely on this community um, to provide us the funds needed to make these dreams come true. A lot of times what we'll do is if we have a specific wish that might involve um, a certain aspect of a business in our community or something, we'll go to that community partner and we'll tell them what our need is and just simply, you know, ask for their assistance. Um, we are so extremely fortunate to live in this tri-state area because we have a very philanthropic community here. It's a very giving community and oftentimes, you know, when we go and we let no let people know what our needs are, um, they're more than happy to help us and accommodate it and make those dreams come true. So you've had many wishes over the years. Mm -hmm. Are there any that are a bit out there and are imaginative? Oh yes, we, we've had some really, um, really wonderful wishes that we've did. Um, most of the children that we get a request from will request a Disney World wish. That's our most common. You know, they want to meet Mickey Mouse or they want to go to Universal and see a character there or something like that. But we've had some children who have really had some very special wish requests. Um, one that comes to mind is we had a young man several years ago who he wanted to meet Ted Nugent. And I was quite surprised when he said that because I know Ted Nugent as someone in the rock and roll world. But he did not know that Ted Nugent was a musician even. Uh, he knew Ted Nugent through his outdoor show um, and he and his father were uh, big into hunting and fishing and they watched Ted Nugent's outdoor show. So um, we contacted Mr. Nugent and his people and they were absolutely awesome to work with. Um, he was more than happy to grant the wish to the child and the family went down to Waco, Texas. They spent a week down there with Mr. Nugent while he was actually filming a new season of his outdoor show. And the little boy even got to do a cameo appearance on the set for his outdoor show. And it was a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you for being with us today, Janet. Thank you, Gage. We appreciate you all coming out today. Reporting from Wish Upon a Star for the EVSA Community Link, this is Gage Lynn.